Awamu ya sita ya kongamano la umoja wa mataifa kuhusu mazingira linangoa nanga rasmi katika makao makuu ya umoja wa mataifa hapa jijini Nairobi. Kongamano hilo ambalo linalenga kujadili masuala ya maji, matumizi bota ya madini, uchafuzi wa mazingira, taka na mengineo litajumuisha takriban wajumbe elfu tano pamoja na marais na wakuu wa serikali kutoka mataifa wanachama tano wa muungano wa mataifa UN aidha waziri wa mazingira nchini Soipan Tuya huko akiwakaribisha wajumbe amesema kuwa mkutano huu utalenga kujenga utajenga mikakati zaidi katika utekelezaji wa mafikiano ya bara Afrika yale yafikiwa kwenye kongamano la Afrika kuhusu tabia nchi mnamo Septemba mwaka uliopita biodiversity loss pollution and waste but all the global environmental challenges including desertification drought among others Global temperatures smashed records in 2023. Some countries, including my own country, Morocco, have already, has already witnessed the 1.5 degrees record last year. We're not waiting for 2050 to see that. The climate emergency continues to ravage countries and people around the world, impacting usually the poorest and most vulnerable the hardest. Hundreds of thousands of species are carrying in towards extinction while over 3.2 billion people are affected by land degradation and millions of people are dying each, other, each year from exposure to pollution, to humidity and chemicals. This is why at the UN Environment Assembly we will advance action on key environmental issues. We begin this assembly with 19 draft resolutions submitted by countries and two draft decisions covering environmental priorities. During this, this assembly, we will aim to drive <clears throat> united, inclusive, and multilateral action that addresses every element of the planetary environmental crisis as one indivisible challenge. And we must do so with the full engagement of civil society, the private sector, youth, and other key stakeholders to ensure a whole of society approach. Together, we'll focus on uniting the world under the banner of environmental action, and we'll put our mind and energies on key solutions, including scientific and nature-based solutions, during this critical period for people and planet. It is our time in 2024 to deliver. Excellencies, colleagues, and dear friends, we have before us a heavy agenda, a very busy week with many important decisions to make. The world is watching us, and I urge all of us to engage positively in the spirit of consensus and openly in the deliberations. We have an immense responsibility at the head of us at a time of the three major inflection points that I mentioned here before you. I count on each and every one of you to ensure that our discussions over the next five days take place in a spirit of understanding and compromise, commitment and urgency, the spirit of Nairobi. We have only one blueprint for our one Earth, our one planet. It is up to us to deliver a clean, greener, and safer future for all people. Let's continue our critical and impactful and vital work. I very much look forward to engaging with all of you this week. Thank you very much.